A San Marcos family is grieving the death of their 20 year old son who was stabbed while walking the family dog. Good evening. I'm Steve Atkinson. Kimberly Hunt has the night off. New at six o'clock, our ABC 10 News reporter Rena Nakano spoke to the family who says he may be gone physically, but his soul will live on. Never in a million years did anyone think a vicious murder would take place in this peaceful San Marcos gated community, but the Kashishians are living with it. He was the most wonderful and loving son that anyone could ask for. On August 15th, 20-year-old Aris Kashishian was on his evening walk with his beloved puppy, Truffle. But when his sister, Audrene, found the dog alone on their doorstep, she knew something was wrong. Seconds later, they found Aris slumped over in a neighbor's driveway. And I remember just Aris taking his last breath in his arm in my arms. Investigators say Aris was stabbed 46 times by his elementary school classmate, Kellen Rosdan. His last words to that witness was, tell my mom I love her. Since his death, the family says Truffle hasn't been himself, still waiting for Aris by his bedroom. He was everywhere where Aris was. He's like a lost kid. I can't find his place. Despite the horrific circumstances, the Kashishians are finding solace by sharing their beautiful memories of Aris. His cousins uh, sometimes, you know, they joked around that he was a mama's boy. And he said, I don't mind at all. Yeah, I am. Proudly, I am always. always. Bored. A basketball lover, a gentle old soul, a wordsmith who always sent comforting text messages to the ones he loved. Remember, God does things for a reason. When the time is right, you'll find what you're looking for. In the meantime, live your life and appreciate the little things. And it's those little things they'll hold on to, to remember the young man gone too soon. He was just the missing puzzle piece in everyone's life. Yes. And I think that's what gentleness and kindness does, is because everybody needs that in their life. Rena Nakano, ABC 10 News. His alleged attacker has been charged with first-degree murder and will appear in court October 13th.